Hey everybody, I'm here with our um, second read aloud for today. It's Ten Pigs, an Epic Bath Adventure by Derek Anderson. Um, when I look at the picture, I try to figure out what the story is about when I look at the cover. This is the front cover. Um, and I'm going to infer, can you say infer? And infer is when you try to figure out what something is about by looking at the cover. I'm going to infer that this book is about pigs in a tub because it says an epic bath adventure. Let's see if I'm right. Ten pigs, an epic bath adventure. One pig. And look, there he is with his little rubber duck and some steps. One very happy pig. Look, he's there relaxing in his bubbles with his little duck. I wonder if that's how come he's happy. I wonder if the bathtub makes him happy. This bathtub is perfect for just me and you. But along comes pig number two. So he's telling his little duck it's perfect for just the two of us. But oh no, here comes pig number two with a beach ball. Two, two, this tub is too small for a duck, two pigs, and a bouncy ball. He's like, oh no. Make way for me, squeals number three. This is a bath, not the deep blue sea. That's what pig number one says. Pig number three says, make way for me. And pig number one says, this is a bath, not the deep blue sea. So he's saying, he's still saying, that's too many. This tub is too full, that's it, no more. Oh no, here comes pig number four. And you can see pig number four, she's in the back and she has a flotation ring or an inner tube and it's purple with yellow spots. And here she comes. He's looking, he's looking a little worried or a little upset, isn't he? He doesn't want to share his bath with anybody. R says five and six gives a toot. So here's five. He's dressed like a pirate. And this one has a tuba, so he gives a toot. Seven launches his boat with a sailor's salute. So if you can see, he's doing this, and that's called a salute. If you're in the Army or the Navy or the Air Force, you salute. Pig eight has a castle. Number nine barely fits. Now there's nowhere left to sit. So look, pig eight brought a sand castle. Pig nine barely fits. There's pig nine and he's got a fishing pole and a fisherman's hat. And now pig one's saying, there's nowhere left to sit. Look how crowded that tub looks. I would not like to share my, my tub either. I don't blame pig number one. And 10, number 10 wiggles and squeezes and surfs his way in. So there's pig number 10. He's got a surfboard. Now there are 10 pigs in the, in the bathtub. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pigs. There is no room left. Ten pigs. Ten. T-E-N. Ten. And if you look, pig, t pig number one has gotten out and he's left the, um, the tub. I wonder what he's going to do. Do you have any idea of what he's going to do? Let's see. Wait, what is that? And then you see all the pigs are looking and they're pointing and they're worried and they look anxious and scared. I wonder what they see. Can you guess? 
Oh, on this page they're running. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Run, run. Five, four, three, two, one. Where's one? Look, they're all running away. I wonder how come they're running away. But they're all getting out of the tub. No pigs, none, or zero. Zero pigs, like our uh, number we did on our board today. So there are no pigs, but the duck is there. This duck's still in the tub. Everything else is outside the tub. I still don't know what they were running from, do you? Wonder if we're gonna find out. Maybe on the next page? Uh-oh. One wolf. Look at that wolf. Uh-oh, that's why they were running. The wolf was gonna get them. But I noticed a zipper on that wolf. Did you notice that zipper? I wonder what that means. Can you guess what that means? Let's see. It says, one, very happy. And the duck's looking nervous, isn't it? Let's see. So that wolf looks happy. Pig! Look at that. That pig was smart. He dressed up like the big bad wolf in a costume to scare everybody out of his back. P I G pig. So it's not a wolf, it's a pig. And look, the duck's looking at him like, <laughs> he's excited. The end. What did you think of this book? Is it two thumbs up, two thumbs down, one of each? I liked this book, it was funny, it was silly. I like how um, the first pig used his brain and he was very clever to try to scare the other pigs out of his bathtub. That's too many at one time. I don't blame him for wanting to be in the tub by himself. What do you think? So did you like this book or did you not? Please tell somebody in your family. Bye guys. Um, oh, before I go by, I'll see you in yoga in a little bit.